welcome to Skill Builders. My name is Chad. I'm a naturalist out at the Baker Outdoor Learning Center. Today we're going to focus on knots and hitches. Not only are we going to learn how to tie them, we're going to learn how to use them in the practical world. Today you will need one or two pieces of rope a little bit larger than a shoelace. Second, a few rope working terms. First term is what we call the working end. The working end is the piece or that section of rope that we're actually working with while we tie our knot or our hitch. Contrast that with the standing end or the resting end. This is something we're not using. We're not worried about this end right now. It can just lay flat. And third is what we call a bite. A bite is simply a loop of rope that looks kind of like the letter U. So the first knot we're going to tie is called an overhand knot. The overhand knot, I have my working end. You've tied this many times if you tied a shoelace. Let's just start with it. I make a bite of rope, a little loop. I'm gonna go halfway around and out, just like that. It's an overhand knot. Our figure eight knot is our second knot. Our figure eight, we start with a bite of rope, much like the overhand knot. Now what I'm gonna do is go over the rope all the way around and I'm going through that bite that loop of rope and I pull them and it looks like a figure eight both sides it looks like the number eight so we're gonna tie a figure eight follow through start with my bite of rope loop it around loop it around if I'm going a little quick go back on the figure eight I have a figure eight knot now I'm gonna loosen that just a little bit to make room for my follow through my follow through this red rope is going to follow right along the blue rope through goes up and down it's following that line down around and around and here we go now again I want to dress that rope I want to make it look pretty for a couple of reasons now I have a figure eight. I have a figure eight follow through. The reason I want to keep it dressed is it's easier to untie. We're going to transition from knots to hitches. For hitches, I'm going to use this white rope. Hitching, I connect the rope to something. And my something is my lashed bench. So this first hitch is called two half hitches. I'm going to loop it around go over, my working end goes over that standing end, and I'm gonna go right up through this little triangle right here. Now it comes out the top, I'm gonna go around again. Now I have a little bit of a hole right here, right where my finger is, that's a placeholder. Take that working end, put it right through that little hole, I'm gonna pull it tight, that's two half hitches. That's the top, underneath, connects it. Now we're going to step it up a notch. Bam! And we're going to add these together. So we have a figure eight knot, but I want to follow through it and put it on a bite. So I put it around this little loop here. Now I'm going to follow through. So I'm tying my figure eight just to follow through. I'm following my blue strand on itself. Comes around. I have a figure eight follow through that I just tied ready to go. So now I want to tighten this line over my canoe. I'm going to do a tr trucker's hitch. Loop it over, go with my little pinchers through there, grab that working end and make another bite or another loop of rope. I've already gone through my little eyelet down here my working end again becomes a loop. And now I'm gonna pull it taut, pull it tight. The nice thing about a trucker's hitch is I can use mechanical advantage to tighten it really snug. Now I'm gonna tie my two half hitches. So I get my loop, my bite of rope, one half hitch, and two half hitches. Now this rope is tight, ready to go with a trucker's hitch. Now, here's the great 
part about learning these knots and, knots and hitches. I have two half hitches. My canoe is secure. To untie it, just kind of feed that through. Feed that through. Got my working end. Here I go. Now, with my trucker's hitch, I just pull it that easy. I have a nice clean rope. Everything's ready to go. Don't have those crazy knots that I have to spend minutes and minutes and extra time untying. So the taut line hitch is tied very similar to the two half hitches. I tie it around something. I go over with my working end. I have this loop right here. I'm gonna come underneath, loop it around one time, go over, loop it around two times, and I'm gonna slow down right here because it gets a little boxy and a little confusing. And now what I wanna do is I wanna take this working end and go outside. And what I mean by outside is on the other side of this loop. As I go over, I kind of make another loop here, my placeholder, my finger. I'm gonna loop under that standing end through here. Now I'm gonna try and pull that snug so you can see what that looks like. To tighten the taut line hitch, I'm gonna do that. Now the greatest thing about a taut line hitch, once you have it tied properly, is that I can adjust this. I can slide it. And as I pull it taut or tight, it can hold. I can adjust this. If I wanted to move the stake back, I can adjust it for my tent. I can adjust nice and taut. This whole line is tight. Thanks for joining me today on Skill Builders, working with knots and hitches. You can see, once you learn one knot, you can do a number of variations and do some really unique activities outside. This is Chad from the Baker Outdoor Learning Center saying, See you next time on Skill Builders.